<laughs> All right, uh, Jr. Castro, what's going on with you, man? All right, I can't call it. What's going on with you? I'm happy to be on this line right now. I am glad you are on the line. That's what's up on the last show of 2015, making it real monumental for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, real quick though. So I got. I'm gonna go right into it though. Get home. Did you know, like, when it, when it, when when it came out, you know, what I'm saying you recorded it, y'all mixed it down, you listened to it three days later, and then before it even went out, did you know it was gonna be this big that it already I, I, is? I'm, I didn't know. I really didn't. I'm gonna be totally honest. This is a true story. Like that song, like was it was something I had on the back burner. Like it, it got lost in like the mu- I call it the musical abyss because I got so many songs. And I, I end up revisiting the song one day. And uh, man, I, my homie Franzen was with me, and he was like, "Yo, this is the one." You know what I'm saying? Because me and Mustard had been working on you know a ton of other songs, and uh, he was like, "Yo, this is the one." So you know what? I was like, "Yo, this is this might be the one." And uh. You know, thank God that it, it, it was it's the one. Was Kid Ink and Quavo on there from the beginning, or they kind of came about when the no, they kind of no, they they weren't on it from the beginning. Uh, what happened was once we heard the song, I had I got to give a shout out to the homie uh, Jason Joshua and my homie and my partner Pooh Bear. Man, they heard the record and was like, "Yo, you know, we need to run with this one." And then after I started listening to it, you know, Kid Ink and Migos, some of the homies too. So what I did was I actually heard them on the record, so I reached out to them and. You know, they by the grace of God, they hopped on it with no problem, and we're here today. Doing real major right there. So, I, Cause when I first heard it, I was like, "This is that record." When I first heard it, and then when I seen the video, I was like, "I'm." I wasn't focused too much on, you know, what I'm saying. I, when I seen you in the video, I was like, "Oh." I got to get him on the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we're not, we're not oh, going to get into that right there. So real quick, I know that <laughs> happened overnight. Let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, how long you've been really doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't happen Man, overnight. No, it don't happen overnight. Not, not at all. I've been doing this thing for like 10 plus years now. For those who don't know, I I was in a uh, in a group before at one point in time in life. And uh, we had a little run, uh, but it didn't really work out. And uh, I'm back on the scene doing it as a solo artist. That's what it is right there. Uh, who are some of your uh, musical influences? Who influenced your music and things? I got a lot of musical influences. I, I want to say uh, it started, it really started back at home. Uh, my mom and pops just playing great music around the house. Like people like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, Midnight Star, The Commodores. A lot of old school music, a lot of old school soul music. It started there. That's the root. Sure. Okay. And then, and then it kind of grew up into, you know. Oh, it kind of grew up into the. I remember when Jody dropped, I was like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" Voice to men. Um, who else? Usher. Yeah, uh, nice and slow and stuff. I, there's so many great people out there musically that inspired me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up right there. So uh, it's the end of 2015. Do you have a moment that you know, saying it's that monumental uh, moment for 2015 for you? If you got yeah, more no, than def- one, just narrow it down real quick. No, I definitely got one. I think that the, it was in New Orleans. Uh, I, I was I did the Bayou Classic. I performed at the Bayou Classic uh, at the Fan Fest, and it was crazy. I think it was like over like 6,500 people there, and that was like the biggest crowd uh, that I've ever performed in front of. And they received me and it, it, with you know with open arms, which was really great. So that was definitely I think the most monumental uh, moment for 2015 for me. All right, and everybody, I want you to know that he can really sing, because if you follow him on Snapchat, you you hear him singing, you know what I'm saying? He can really sing, everybody, all right? Just want to let y'all know this. Now, you have another record that I came across when I saw you, um, when you was down here in Miami, uh, the FMN record, you know what I'm saying? Tell us about that record, you know what I'm saying? You and Timberland. Yeah, me and Timberland. Shout out to Timberland. Uh, FMN. You know, it stands, you know, y'all got to go look up, look it up. I don't want to be, you know, yeah, y'all. cussing over here on the... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, y'all got to go look that up. But it's basically, it's a, it's a love song. It really is. It's, it's, a, it's a love song. Uh, I was in the studio with Timberland one day. He played this, this dope beat. And um, I had came up with this melody. And then this title was like, yo, sometimes you just don't want to get to, you know, you want to get, get past all the extra stuff. And just be like, yo, I want to tell you how I really feel. And, you know, and that's what it is. Just get it in. Just get it in. Just yeah, like let's, just, let's just let's just cut to the chase. We know how we feel about each other, and let's just go ahead and do the thing. Thanks. You already home. You know what I'm saying? You already home, so <laughs> yeah, you already know you already what's going. Know. Down. Yeah, so you already know what's going down. So you know, 
God. Exactly. So 2016, what can we expect from you? You can expect the mix. I'm dropping a mixtape. It's titled You at the top of the year. I'm dropping a couple mixtapes, actually. I'm going to drop uh, one in January, and then I'm dropping one in February for Valentine's Day for all the lovers out there. And that one is going to be called Songs You Were Made To. Now, this is six cover R&B songs that I did. I personally remade, and this is just my way of paying homage back to the R&B cats that came before me and paved the way for people like me. And, um, yeah, and I wanted to do something special for the ladies, man, and, and just make, let them know, like, yo, you know, there is men out here that appreciate you and think you're really special and want to show you that in every way possible. You know what I'm saying? Just when you thought R&B was napping, it's not, okay? It's not. not. <laughs> it's not. So for those that want to link up with you, connect directly with you, let them know how they can do that. Yo, follow me on my social networks at JR Castro LV. That's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, JR Castro LV. And if you ain't got my single right now, go on iTunes and get it. I, it's on sale right now for 69 cents. Get home, get right. And uh, yeah, let's close out this 2015 with a big bang. We, we got to do it though, JR. I appreciate you checking in next time in the 2015. When you do come to the South Florida, we got to get you in the building. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, say no I, more. I'm there. I'm there for sure. Because, you know, because light-skinned people tend to like to take over my show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's all right, though. I'm, I, I might let you just do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me... it's all love, baby. It's all love. Got to do it. So, again, I appreciate you checking in. Go ahead and introduce your hit record right here for the 2015. Yo, yo, this is J.R. Castro, and this is my single, Get Home, Get Right, featuring Kitty and Migo. I'm going to hit it right, hit it right, hit it right. I'm going to hit it right.